As Kentucky gears up for the primary elections, some may be wondering how they can make their vote count before hitting the polls this May 17th. Tuesday, Mountaintop spoke with Secretary of State Michael Adams about what you should know before voting this year. Well, uh, there are four convenient ways to vote now in Kentucky. That wasn't always true. Uh, we've tried to expand access to the ballot uh, in my term of office while also improving the security of the process. Uh, there are four ways to vote. First way is to vote by absentee ballot. I just want to reassure people who, based on their age or their health, uh, have concerns about voting in person. They qualify to vote by absentee ballot. Certainly, we've seen less of that uh, with COVID finally going away. Uh, the deadline to request an absentee ballot has passed. Uh, we're so close now to the election. But if you did request an absentee ballot, get that back to us as soon as you can. The deadline for us to have those in our hand is 6 p.m. on Election Day, May 17th. That's a week from today when we're taping this. Uh, we have to have it, otherwise we can't count it. We gotta count your votes along with everybody else's. You can mail that ballot back to us. As long as we have it back in time, we can count it, or you can bring it to the Dropbox. Maybe it's a little better knowing that we've got it, it's in our uh, custody. Uh, again, either way, we've gotta have it in hand by May 17th at 6 p.m. We are Pikeville Medical Center. And we are an amazing place to work. Healthcare heroes of all types work here, all who deserve great rewards. So while our heroes are working hard to take care of our patients and visitors, we are taking care of them with top tier benefits, higher pay rates, and great sign on bonuses. So join our team today. So what are you waiting for? Apply today. Incredible opportunities await at pmcjobs.org. Secondly, for those choosing to vote in person, and are out of their county, excused absentee voters will have till Wednesday, May 11th to vote. The third method, which is new for Kentucky, early in-person voters will have from May 12th through the 14th to vote. This is new, this is something that we've brought Kentucky. Uh, three days of early voting, May 12th through 14th, that's Thursday through Saturday. The polls will be open eight hours a day uh, by law as we got it passed. Uh, especially, I think that Saturday is really helpful for working people that wanna go cast a ballot. Uh, those locations certainly will vary county by county. We encourage people to contact your county clerk or visit our website, elect.ky.gov. We've got a, a list of all the voting locations in the state. Uh, and then, of course, you can vote on election day if you choose. Uh, most of our counties have their precincts back open. Some are doing a modified version uh, with some vote centers and some precincts or all vote centers. Uh, every county is different. It's a local decision. So if you want to learn where to vote, again, our website will tell you elect.ky.gov. Voting for the primary election is May 17th. For a list of polling locations, you can visit elect.ky.gov. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.